During just 2015, the TSA seized literally thousands of guns from people that were trying to get those guns out of planes in their carry-on luggage. So they seized 2,653 guns in just one year. Jesus. It doesn't take that many to cause a major problem. It takes one, usually. The TSA said the figure is a 20% increase over the number of guns that were captured by its agents in 2014 and are also the highest number of firearms that have been intercepted in one year in its history. So in the same way that carbon in the atmosphere keeps going up and firearm sales keep going up, we can expect that the TSA is going to have an increasing problem with people trying to bring on their guns. Uh, the TSA said that 2,198 of them, or almost 83%, were loaded. <laughs> well, I guess you would want them to be. If you're going to cause an international incident, you're going to want the ammunition close at hand. So thankfully, 17.2% uh, of gun owners responsible enough to take the fucking ammunition out. Thank you for doing that. The airport with the most gun incidents in 2015 was, oh, look at that, surprising, it's Dallas, <laughs> which had 153 guns captured. No the second busiest was Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Uh, a lot of, uh, I, I believe, musicians wanting to take their guns on the, uh, on the uh, airport. 144 there. Uh, and then it goes on, even Austin, I have to say, unfortunately, was on the list, although my belief is that that's people flying back to Dallas. I'm not sure, though. And Florida, doing a pretty good job, not all over the list. And by the way, in case you did not know this, I really, I don't think you should need to have this in graphic form, but TSA rules prohibit passengers from carrying guns in their carry-on luggage. What? Under the agency rules, firearms must be packed into checked luggage and unloaded. You're still allowed to bring the guns on the plane. Are we not merciful? Please don't put them in your backpack underneath the seat in front of you. <laughs> Loaded. Well, it might not fit. That's why you. It might not but, fit. That's uh, true. So it's like, sir, your uh, your AR is not going to fit in that way, sir. <laughs> we need to put it wheels in, please. Exactly. Um, Just keep it on your lap. So Just point it right up at the ceiling. This happens so much. So you wonder. Uh, the TSA is doing a terrible job. Look at all these terrorists showing up at our airports with loaded guns, ready to shoot. Who are, who are the people that are doing it? That's where's the, the outrage? Question. No, I, I need to. No, I need to see who are the people doing it because I'm going to make a whole lot of assumptions, and. It's not good to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, Dallas, Houston, uh, where else we had Austin? Atlanta. Atlanta. Uh, three, three cities in Florida. Oh, there were three cities in Florida. I did not actually see that many on the list. Orlando, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think the terrorists are kind of are swooping to the south. They're starting, they're starting to run straight yeah. to the bottom of the country. Yeah, what is know? that about? Orlando, Maybe all Nashville? Maybe those immigrants run up. From Mexico, then they run over to the side towards Florida. Yeah. There's a lot of gun-owning, jet-setting Mexicans committing acts of domestic <laughs> terrorism. I found. I'm just saying, I this, is, this, is one of the, all, this is one of the, uh, the consequences of all the fear. You're probably like, oh, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be that guy. What was the flight uh, on 9-11 that oh, was right. actually taken over and the guy's Flight 82 back? or something like that? Yeah, I think it was the movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, 92, 94, I can't remember. But I'm going to be that badass. I think there's just a large the case, percentage yeah. of these people who come in on the planes. Others are just, they really do want to cause harm and just shooting when they can as soon as they get off the plane. But the rest of them are thinking, I'm going to be that hero. I'm going to pack my gun and put it on the plane so that when that terrorist jumps up and says, whatever he's going to say that I can't understand, he's probably going to speak in Spanish. And then <laughs> I'm going to get to shooting. They, yeah. they, 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 in think, a plane. they think they're commando. You remember yeah. the movie with, uh, with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? It's Passenger 57. It, all of them, they don't think they're. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Never bet on black. Yeah. Oh, they, but no, there's there's this there's this there's this hero in them. They're like, I'm gonna put my gun on the plate, my AR fucking 15 in my bag yeah. because if it's gonna let off one round and kill that terrorist. Yeah. And then I'm gonna get celebrated. They're gonna make a movie about me. We should have done done conservative air as the master. God damn. It. What's wrong with us? By the way, and again, I, I read the, these are the laws for the TSA. You should understand this. But for all of those people that that bring their bag loaded with guns and ammunition, and they put it on the thing through the scanner. What do you think they're scanning for, if not guns? And by the way, JR was showing us the TSA keeps a, like a, like a, basically like a Tumblr, and they have a blog, and they have an Instagram of all the things people bring through. Amazing. It's like TNT and grenades and a Tons cannon. What do you think they're looking for? Like, man, they really don't want you to bring mouthwash on that plane. <laughs> they have this whole apparatus just for liquids. No, it's for firearms. That's the thing we want least on a plane. And you just can't go on vacation without a sidearm? We've got a major problem of fear and, and suspicion so also, in this country. Some of the, I'm going I'm, I'm to let you speak, Doug. Um, but also, I'm I looked done. up some of, the, uh, some of the 
the comp, the, I guess the once you're arrested for these things, because again, you were yeah. talking about the mouthwash. We were coming back from from Des Moines, and I was worried about the mouthwash. I was right behind John in line. And I said, "Oh shit!" I said, "This <laughs> mouthwash is like five ounces. Damn it!" So I'm like scrambling Drinking for like it. a garbage, <laughs> yeah, I'm <trying> for <laughs> garbage getting to toss it out in. But so I'm because I'm thinking if they annoy me, they I've been stopped before and be like, "Oh, what's this?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. It's just an apple juice for my kid, right?" Because I forgot. But yeah. um, up to 10 years in prison and $3,500 to $7,500 fine. So this many people were busted. We're pumping out this many fines, and they're thinking this is fine. We can do this again. Are they actually getting the 10 years in prison? No, they're, no, they're getting definitely the fine not of like $1,000, actually. It's like, move on. You're just being a good guy. You want to stop the uh, terrorists from, yeah. from striking. Where's, when is there something that's going to be able to, to stop you from doing this? Yeah. What's the offshoot? What, what are we going to do? Yeah. It's gonna I don't keep, know. Think about how many got through. 26 exactly, out of 53 yeah. got stopped. How many went through? A yeah, lot. Exactly. Believe me, a lot. I yeah. accidentally brought a Swiss Army knife onto a plane. I know because they found it on the return flight when I was being scanned. And I was like, I didn't even know I owned a Swiss Army knife. Really? Maybe it was planted on me. I don't know. But they didn't see it on the way in. Really? Yeah. I So I had that. So I... Um, I used to always, you know, uh, hide my pot in my balls when I would fly. <laughs> and um, so I remember, uh, I would, and I would always take the pat down. Yeah. Right? And uh, so I'm like, no, I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through the metal. Like, I don't want to go through the pat. So I go through the metal detector or whatever that thing is, that backscatter. Yeah. Um, and I hear, oh, there's an anomaly on his upper right thigh. And I'm like... You know, that's my penis, probably. <laughs> and then they're like, there's an anomaly, which like, I quit saying that. You quit humiliating yeah. me. And so the guy comes over and he goes, hi, there's an anomaly. I, I know, I heard. I yeah. know. <laughs> so he, uh, start, he goes, I have to pat you down with the front of my hands. Is that okay? And I was like, uh, sure. Is it okay if I fly with a wet spot? <laughs> Jesus Less than three Christ. ounces. I know the rules.